Hey, what is up everybody? I got some exciting news. So I finally got my lockers in my storage cabinets. Uh, it's been quite a few months since I've ordered them and they have finally arrived. I got one small piece. I got that about a month ago, but the remainder of the lockers are finally here. They're right outside. It's kind of hot out right now. So I live in Arizona, obviously. So I'm going to clean this up, clean up the garage. I'm going to bring those cabinets in and we're going to get to installing these. All right, so I finally got the lockers in here. Let's take a look at them. This is the way they come uh, packed. As you can see, it looks like there's two of them in here. Yeah, there's two, old, two drawers. I think these are uh, a floating one and then this is the one that goes underneath the uh, actual, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, desktop. Not bad looking, don't see any damage. Let's see what the front looks like. Looks like there's some small little rivets. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that on camera. And it looks like it might be from these little rivets that they have back here. All right, not too bad. I don't see like any exterior damage anywhere. Always a plus. Let's see what this one looks like. This is the exact same thing. Looks like there's, you can still, you can actually see the rivets popping through. But otherwise, I don't see any damage in here either. This is, this is to keep the cabinets from moving around in there. But yeah, this, uh, this is what the lockers look like so far. Um, I still have to uh, obviously take the drawers out and start setting them up along this wall, as you can see. Um, lots of stuff that I gotta organize. But um, if you do buy these, make sure you <laughs> plan for all of the extra packaging materials that come with them. As you can see, it's quite a bit. Um, and then they left the uh, pallet as well, so you have to discard that. Um, we don't have a uh, bulk trash pickup until the end of, or I should say mid-October, so about 30 days away. So I might have to keep that around for a little bit. What's up, buddy? What do you think about the lockers? Alright, so here is the uh, update video on the lockers. Um, it's about a week later. Uh, it took me pretty much an entire day of getting this all, you know, completely set up and organized. Uh, this is the finished result. So these are New Age lockers. These, uh, This is the nine-piece set. I think when I purchased this, this was uh, about 1200 bucks. Uh, with tax uh, here in the state of Arizona and I think now uh, a few months later I think these are going for a couple hundred bucks more I, I assume that these are made in China uh, with inflation these days it uh, you know they probably had to increase their uh, cost but anyway these were about 1200 bucks I think they were a, a great deal uh, I think they look fantastic uh, and again uh, if you've seen some of my other videos where I talk about Facebook ads uh, I did actually see New Age lockers, um, and they also have a specially designed uh, floor for garages. And in the Facebook ad, they had a Tesla. I have a Tesla, and they completely got me. I was sold on that, so I, I picked these up. These are a great price. Um, one thing, I've never actually installed cabinets before. So one lesson learned from this is that when I installed these, I actually installed them too high. And so when I had to level this out, unfortunately it wouldn't go high enough. So I did have to take it off the wall uh, and lower it down. So my recommendation, um, when you're reading the instructions, they tell you to put on the feet uh, of these, uh, you know, the cabinets, uh, put on the rollers, what else? Uh, you could also put the shelves inside if you want. I would definitely recommend that uh, as you start to install these that you make sure that your the feet are all the way up on both lockers. This way you have a general idea of the height. So when you do go to actually install those, that if you do have to make adjustments on this one, um, it's not too low and it's not too high when you actually um, put up those put up those um, the cabinets um, 
yeah, that, that's really my only lesson learned. So uh, the other thing too is, you know, as you're putting this all together, make sure that you have a level. That's going to be extremely important. So I have, I have uh, three different levels. I have a small one somewhere that, so this one is going to be good for, for the cabinet. You could also, or I should say the, the, the uh, tabletop there. And then you're definitely going to want a much longer one. Uh, they all, so I actually got this from Amazon. They also have a, a much smaller one as well. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to keep this level handy because you're going to need it for your cabinets up there to make sure that those are level. And then as you're kind of putting all of this together, you want to make sure that your lockers are level. This is level. And then ultimately uh, that this is level as well. And then it's all going to tie into this desktop over here. So you're going to, you want to make sure that that's level. And that there's a little bracket down here that's going to hold the desktop. So, you know, put your, uh, put your level here. Make sure that it's level. And then, you know, it should be all set. And then inside of, uh, the, uh, inside of the locker, there's bolts that you can use to tie it all together here. The, the only reason why I couldn't do that is in my garage, I have a really big baseboard down there. And so I think you should be able to see it on camera. It doesn't actually sit flush with the wall. So inside of here, and you can see those little screw holes. Uh, those screw holes, I could get them to line up, but then the problem is, is that it would throw off um, the level of the desk. So I actually just left those. I think I was able to get one of them in there But if you want to be you know Super safe you can actually just drill your own holes and then just screw on some extra bolts this way You know, it's all kind of tied together um, But yeah overall I would say it took me a good solid day to put this all together It took me a lot longer than I thought that's for sure and then I think once, you know, once I actually got all these cabinets together, the other thing that I had to do was, you know, obviously clean up all of the little odds and ends that I had. I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with the ladder, the little giant. I have a broom. And then I also bought one of these little um, tools for taking out little wheat. We got some little nasty weeds here in Arizona that... Um, uh, yeah, they, they, they can survive with no water. And then as soon as it rains, like they just start sprouting out like crazy. So, uh, and the other thing too, is I had to buy a mop. So I bought one of these at Ace Hardware. Um, you know, over time I, you know, I have started tracking in some dirt on the floors. And then once I have the fan on, it starts kicking up my dog's little hairs all over. And so I had to, you know, pick up a mop, make sure this place is looking good, you know, at all times. So um, I have to figure out what I'm going to do to organize this. This is a mirror that I have back there. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that, if I'm going to keep it in here at all. Um, what else? The tile cutter. I use that for uh, putting together this floor. And then we have the uh, Chemical Guys wash bucket, which I've only used a, a couple of times, actually. I actually used it for cleaning the floor. Um, and then I, I tried doing a hand wash, but the problem that Arizona has is that the uh, we have really hard water, so I didn't want to use the water because it uh, leaves hard water spots. Um, Got to figure out what I'm going to do with that pallet. I might try and break it down and then just throw it in the trash. We do have a bulk pickup coming up soon, sometime in August, or actually I should say in October, not August. And then I would eventually like to get rid of these, put them outside. But right now we actually have rock going into uh, the gate. So it would be a pain in the ass to carry these two things um, through the rocks. So, And then Tally's bike is over here for now. We are going to have to figure out what we're going to do with this. I think we're going to try and find 
um, like a bike rack that you can mount high up. Most I'm thinking it's going to go somewhere around here because there is a stud um, for you know hooking up the uh, outlet box back there. So I might actually just end up putting it, you know, like this. It is out of the way. Um, and then I think the one that we were looking at kind of it swivels to the side, so it doesn't take as much room. Um, but yeah, you know, the garage is coming together. It's 95% there. I do say 95% because there's those little things that I would like to take care of. Like, for example, I'll probably need to get some type of rack so I could put the mop and the broom away, that extra tool back there. Figure out if I'm going to uh, leave that little giant out. Um, the lights. I want to get brighter lights. And then I also want to put a couple of more back here. This way the, the back part of the garage is is uh, nicely lit and then I would have to replace all the bulbs in this so that um, you know the light isn't as yellow uh, it probably looks pretty white on camera but I would like it to be a little bit whiter uh, than it is now and then what else was I looking to do I think I think that should be it for now you know the Tesla's in a good spot Got the charging station going over there. That's good. We got plenty of outlets. Um, actually, when I was putting up those cabinets, um, I had to look for studs so I could mount the cabinet. And then where I wanted it originally was actually going to block one of those outlets. But I had to move this whole entire thing over to find a stud. And I'm glad I did that because I didn't block off that outlet. So we're good on that part. Um... I might, I might do under cabinet lighting. As you can see, they uh, they do include little drill holes so that you can put the under cabinet lighting in there, which is pretty cool. And then inside of these lockers, they actually have a hole down at the bottom, and then it comes with a little grommet, and then you can use that to run your wires up if you want to put, uh, you know, run some wires through there for electrical. Um, these keys that they give you, I'll show you guys what the package looks like. So they do a really great job of, you know, when you open one of these up, it's going to come with its own little uh, package with the bolts that you're going to use. And then it tells you like base cabinets. Uh, what else do they have in here? Uh, a 30 inch locker. The keys that they give you um, from, you know, from the packages that I've opened up, all the keys are pretty much the same. So if I took this one here, it's going to work on all of these. So they're not like specifically or specially designed, um, you know, for these cabinets. They're, I think they're, I want to say they're just universal keys. Um, I actually have these locked uh, just in case. Some of the stuff in here shifts, it doesn't um, open up the, uh, bust open the locker. Because they are actually pretty easy to open up um, if you got some heavy stuff in there. Um, the Tesla hubcaps, I have a, um, I ordered off of Amazon like a little bag that you can put those things in. So this way I can neaten it up and I'll probably toss it up here somewhere. This way I can make it uh, look nice and neat and organized and you don't see that mess right there. Um, I do also have a magnetic towel holder on the way. So it's going to go somewhere right here. If you got a garage, you're definitely going to need some shop towels, that's for sure. Um, that little, what is it, uh, Craftsman vacuum, pretty awesome. I think I bought that off of, uh, I think I bought that off of Amazon as well. I was looking at Ace Hardware, but they wanted like an extra 40 bucks at Ace Hardware, which is uh, pretty wild. But it's a great little vacuum, nice and small, perfect for this garage. You know, I don't have a, a huge garage. I just, you know, as you can see, we, uh, I maximized the space that I have so far. And then over here, we got the little scooter. Uh, that's kind of in an awkward spot. Maybe over time, I'll, I'll see if I can mount that on, a, on the wall as well. I haven't used it that much since we moved to Arizona, but when I lived in Chicago, I used that thing all the time. Um, and then we got the 
you know, this side of the garage in, in a good spot. Uh, I do need some more weights. Uh, so I think I'm kind of maxing out my weights. You know, I'm not uh, trying to be a bodybuilder or anything, but I think I do need a few more weights. It's been a good weight set so far. It's got a pull-up bar. Uh, you know, you can do some squats on here. It's got little, uh, little handles for dips. Uh, curl bar. I've actually gotten way more use out of that curl bar than I thought I was going to. Um, I use it for squatting as well. Um, these 55 or 50 pound dumbbells, I think I really need some 40s or 45s maybe because those are those are a little bit too heavy. Um, I'm getting older. I don't want to be breaking <laughs> breaking my body down too quick. Um, this chair is a poly and bark chair uh, in cognac. Um, it's a really nice, uh, really great brand. We also have the ones from, uh, uh, we have a, a bench from Poly and & Bark, and then we also have an ottoman as well. Uh, really great quality. And then this floor, we actually got the floor from uh, Lowe's. It was actually out of stock for quite a long time, just like those lockers were. It took me months to get those lockers. I think I, think I placed the order in May, and I just got it uh, here in September. And then once it was actually sent out to the shipping company, I actually had to call them and kind of give them a hard time because they missed the delivery schedule. But that's all right, they're here. And then we put a little uh, table back here. Uh, these, got, these are Logitech's, Logitech THX speakers. And then I don't know if you guys can see it. We'll move this out of the way. There's the salt for the soft water, uh, salt, soft water system, and then the base is back there. This has been a, a great little system, man. I, I bought this uh, a number of years ago. I bought my brother one way back in uh, 2006, and uh, this this little system is pretty pretty nice, man. It's got some good bass, good vocals out of it, and so uh, I picked one up myself, and I've had that for quite a few years now. Um, got a little small table, nothing fancy on that. We got the, uh, the TV out here. Eventually I will upgrade this to something a little bit nicer, but, uh, this is a plasma that I've had for, for quite a long time. Had this at our old apartment, uh, that we lived in, in, uh, a small town called Woodstock out in Illinois. Um, so this was our main TV cause we had a small little studio. Uh, this is uh, it's a plasma TV. So plasmas are really great for dark rooms They don't do so well in in, uh, in Environments with really bright lights. So uh, It's a good spot for it. But yeah, eventually I would like to upgrade this to a 4k TV. It's only 1080p uh, What else we put a little thermometer in here Currently it's 81 degrees in Arizona. It's quite hot. So 81 feels pretty good uh, so yeah, that's that's where we are with the garage at the moment. Um, what else? Oh, this access right here. I think long term, I'd actually like to uh, put some stairs uh, that'll come out, so they can. This way, I don't have to use a ladder. You can actually just buy a kit, and then you can customize the height. Of that kit so it comes super long and then you just cut it down for the for the height that you'll need the only problem that I might run into is I'll need I'll probably need to put some additional bracing in there uh, for that kit so you know the the kit you actually have to cut out some additional uh, drywall and then put some additional uh, bracing up there as well and then when you put the kit in there you just screw it into the sides of the of the support and then it'll come with like a little little chain that you can pull down and this way you can just you know walk up into the attic instead of having to bust out that ladder uh, but again that is a long-term plan right now I think I'd like to just relax a little bit uh, ever since we moved here three months ago it's been you know pretty much a project um, every weekend or small little projects throughout the day we put a um, uh, smoke detector up there as well uh, yeah, The smoke they only put like two smoke detectors when we moved in here and both of them are in the rooms Which I thought was really weird because You know if, uh, if the smoke detectors are only in the rooms, you know by the time 
uh, those little things go off, I mean, it's, it's going to be too late. So in the garage, definitely put one here just in case, you know, the mini split system for some reason catches on fire. The Tesla decides to do its own thing. Uh, I don't know, maybe some chemicals in here. I don't have any chemicals, but if I did, you know, if they decided to mix and blow up, I would want this little, that little bastard to start screaming so I can get some time to get the hell out of here. Uh, but I also will need a fire extinguisher. Uh, I'll definitely need to buy one of those. We got one for the kitchen, but um, we're definitely going to need one for out here as well, just in case. So I guess I'll put that on my list as well. Uh, but overall, for these cabinets, um, you know, first time installing the those floating cabinets, uh, made a mistake the first time, but you know, it's definitely a good lesson learned for next time you have to install the cabinets. Um, I think I pointed out earlier in the video, you can kind of see the little rivets that are poking out. Uh, the, the steel on this isn't exactly thick. I'll open it up. It's not exactly, you know, thick. You can, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but, you know, it's not exactly like, you know, it's a professional locker series and that's okay. I'm not a uh, professional garage guy at all. I just wanted it to look good so I can keep this place nice and neat and organized and not having to be tripping over all of my junk like you guys saw earlier in that video. Um, but yeah, man, this, is, uh, this has been a long time coming, three months just to get to this stage. Uh, and I think it's at a really good spot. Uh, anyways, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Take care. See ya.